Welcome back to another Tracker Tim video. And this one, guys, this one is a special one. We're currently heading to Transtech where I'm getting a lift to pick up my new truck. Yes! My own truck, personal truck. I'm gonna reveal what it is today, get a first drive, fill it up with diesel, and yeah, we're just gonna do everything today. It's gonna to be absolutely awesome. Let's get to Transtech. Let's go! My truck is just over there. Are you ready? Here we go. Bosh, look at this. I think she'll be all right. A little bit of um, filler and stuff. Have a little look inside. <laughs> yep, it's a bit of a project, but. Now, of course, I'm only joking. It's just over there. There she is. Let's go take a proper look at her then. So she's a Scania 4 Series top line. She's a 530 V8. Oh, these look a bit, oh, they look a bit loose in the housings. Perfect, she's got window wipers on the lights. So I bought her from the guys at Laws Exports. Really easy to deal with, made the process of buying this like a dream. So we've just got back with the truck from Law Exports. And make sure you keep watching this video, guys. I'm gonna show you what happened when we picked this up. It was a bit of a journey, put it that way. Anyway, let's carry on having a look around the old girl then. Here she is. <laughs> I can't believe, guys, this is actually my truck. And I don't know if you've just noticed, but if you've been following me for a long while, I used to say on my TikToks and my YouTubes, oh, what a day. And look what this truck has got written on the back of it. Oh, what a day. This obviously, this truck is meant to be, isn't it? And of course, it's got tones. Yes! Keep watching the video to hear them because we gave them a food blast on the way back. And yes, she is a tag axle. Check that out. Right up in the air. Absolutely loving it. This is going to be an awesome truck when it's done, guys. So we come around the back then. This is, well, it's a bit loose. And that's probably, yeah, that, that needs rectifying but this truck is gonna be proper overhauled. It's gonna have a backboard. It's gonna be proper Dutch spec. Number plate, oh, that, needs some, that needs some attention, doesn't it? But I'm gonna get a personalized plate for this truck. Probably gonna need some new wing tops. Yeah, maybe. Look at that tag axle though. Oof. It's got two tanks, this massive one this side and that one over there. We're gonna take those off and put little tanks on because this is all gonna be boxed in. You have smooth side skirts, smooth catwalk, Probably going to fill the back in as well, make that all smooth. Twin stacks. We've got so many plans for this truck. V8. It has actually got a Kelsa bar as well. Four spotlights in the uh, sun visor there. Like I say, I honestly, guys, cannot believe this truck is mine. Like, where it all started with a few TikToks and a couple of YouTubes, and now we got this. I'm thinking maybe doing it the same colour as my M3, Santorini blue, so then we can have the V8 truck and the V8 car parked next to one another in the same colours. Anyway, let's take a little look inside then and start it up, give it a few revs. Let's take a look inside. V8 530. Woohoo! Let's climb aboard. So here we are, this is the interior of the old girl. It's got these lockers in it already, but we're gonna rip them out, put new ones in, get rid of the bed, get subs behind the seats. All the interior is gonna be done. As I said at the beginning of the video, guys, make sure you keep watching the video because you'll get to see us picking it up and the drive back and the eventful drive back at that. But yeah, this is the dash, the old wood effect here. The uh, speedo needle is wrapped right around 130 k. It's got a retarder, look at that. But you're going to want to subscribe to my channel and put on the notifications to see the build process of this Scania 4 series. Let's uh, start it up. Hey, she's on. Let's give it a rev. V8, V8. And as well, she's a manual. Split a box with half gears. Bop, bop, bop. There's so much fun driving it back with that exhaust. But yeah, it's gonna sound five times as loud as this once we're done with it. Straight through. Oh, I can't wait. Let's turn her off. I just can't get my head around that this truck is mine. And it's all thanks to you guys, really, watching my videos, interacting, all the likes, comments, and everything, your views, that's got this truck. And I thank you all so, so much. Oh my God, the central locking works. <laughs> central locking actually works we're going to get a couple of super singles for the front i think as well i'm not going to go dura brights i think i'm going to paint the wheels and as well with it being a scania 4 series when i first started driving for rails transport my first proper arctic it was a scania 4 series like this it wasn't a v8 
but it was a Scania 4 series. So let's cut over now to us going out to pick up the new Trucker Timmobile. It's eventful. So we're halfway there now in the Citroen Relay, just off the A50 to stop for a fag break. Get some tones. No tones. Here's the driver from Trucking Sounds. All right, mate. Ah! Where are you going? Thistle. Give us some tones in the tunnel then. Nice. We've arrived, finally. Where is it? Whoa, speed bump. Hey! He ah. didn't give me any tones. God, first drive. Oh God, there we go, she's in. <laughs> cool. They won't go in that gear. If you can't find them, grind them. We'll go in that gear then. Do you know your way home? No, left here, I know that. I was trying to put it in. There'd be one there. Oh, That's right. Yeah. Go in. That'll, that, <laughs> that, that, that'll do it. Didn't put my clutch in. Oh dear. <laughs> Thought we'd just call in to the services here and get some diesel. And yeah, the new truck is looking uh, a little bit sad. She won't start. So we've got the cab over. Oh no. What have I bought? What have I bought? How's it looking? There's no fuel there. There's no fuel there at all. Hey? Nothing. So we think we run out of diesel just as we pulled on the pump. I put 100 quid in, got 50 litres, and then it wouldn't start again. So I'm going to put another 100 litres in. No, another 100 quid in. Oh, what a day. That'll do. Right, let's go pay. I'm going to go in the van now and get some rolling shots. Whoa, you maniac! There she is, look! She sounds a bit rattly. So we've pulled over in this lay-by here on the A6 and I'm going to hop in the passenger seat. Dad! Oh dear, have to look into this, Richie. Issues. That's all. I think this truck ownership malarkey is going to get a bit expensive. It looks like it was red at some point. So what's happened is the fuel filter's got a split in it. And it's pumping out diesel everywhere. You enjoying yourself? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Recovery. So we've got Lombardos here with a new fuel filter. Here we go. This is what we need. So this is Kyle's van, the Lombardo's. He's got his light bar at the top there. He's even got curtains. Side bar down the side. Look at all the lights on it. Lombardo. If we have a look inside. Oh, wow. 
How clean is this? Awesome. Look at these seats. It's got a helmet and a lot. Look at the curtains. Look how clean he keeps it in here. This is immaculate. There's a red underglow under here. Looks like he must keep his boots in this little bit here. Yes, poppy air fresheners. What about that for a call out van? That's proper nice. Very nice, Kyle. So this is the trucking sounds van. Do you remember the Magnum? Oh, poor new truck. Not a good start, is it, this really? Here we go, this was the culprit. Split fuel filter. Oh. Shut the front up. Oh, you left your map behind. There you go, mate. Right, Thank you. Much. Thanks very much for that. Well, I'll put these wings in. Like yes! Right, let's finally get this back to Transtech. Oh, what a day. Beast! Slip into my leather seat. Oh, oh it's been a day and a half, isn't it, Richie? I want it, Jess, mate. <laughs> It's been emotional. Oh, my cupboard door's open. She should drive like a dream now. Oh, nice. It's not a day I'm going to forget in a hurry. Give me some tones. There he goes. Thank you, Lombardos. We've made it. Finally. She's back. So there you go, guys. The truck is back at Transtech. And I think we're basically just going to crack straight on with it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button for plenty more videos to come with the new truck of Timmobile. I'll speak to you later, guys. Cheers!